We've seen the requirements document, the data flow graph, we've seen the flow chart, we've seen the components, we saw the interface. Now let's build the software. So we're in Kyle, we're going to build the software. We'll write by defining what it is we're going to do in our comments so that we have documentation of this later. Uh, we have uh, our hardware connections and what I like to do in my comments is to explicitly define how I've connected up and that way it attaches the software to the hardware. We have a, a number of I.O. ports we're going to use in this class. <coughs> in this example we use port E. Texas will allow us to activate the multimeter in oscilloscope, so we'll turn on Texas. John, what is the enable interrupts there for? Um, this enable interrupts is a prototype, and we'll see later that we'll actually turn on interrupts for the Texas uh, to work. So we'll be able to stream the data from your board into another program that we can do our measurements with. And that's what interrupts will be for. So the first thing we do to enable a port is to turn on its clock. So this is port E, so we turn on bit 4 and wait a little while. Um, we've done initializations before, but basically what we're doing is we're setting up PE4 as an output and PE2, 1, and 0 as inputs, and we um, enable those as digital devices. And when we execute this line, interrupts will be enabled and the Texas voltmeter oscilloscope will now be active. That was the initialization. Now the body of the system will do something over and over and over again uh, to be our security system. So the first step that we're going to do is read the status of the ARM toggle switch and that is on port E um, bit 2 and so if we read port E data and end it with a 4, we're going to get a 0 or a 1 in bit 2 uh, if it's armed. So arm will be a 4 if it's armed, and it will be a 0 if it's not armed or deactivated. Next we'll read the sensors. The sensors are the sensors that exist in the... For the two windows. For the two windows. And the way we've defined it, if the sensor is a 1, that means it's OK and we're secure. But if either of these sensors is a 0, that means a break-in is in progress. So this is the critical step uh, that defines the logic of our security system. As you remember, if it is armed, it's going to be a 4. So if arm equals 4 and if either of the two sensors is a 0, uh, that means it's an alarm. And what we're going to do if we see the alarm is toggle the LED. And the LED is on bit 4, and so we'll toggle it to say alarm. So this will achieve the flashing aspect of our requirement. But we do have to control how fast it will flash, and we do that by putting in delay. So if I turn it on for 100 milliseconds, and turn it off for 100, turn it on for 100, turn it off for 100, it'll flash at about 5 hertz. 5 times a second. But if the system is not activated, or if the system is activated and secure, both switches being 1, then what we'll do is we'll turn off the LED by putting a 0 out to bit 4. And the rest of this uh, finishes up the loops. We have one more last thing to do in our software is to implement this delay function and we did that uh, in chapter uh, 6 and 7 and so this is very much uh, like the programs we used in 6 and 7. So that's our software. What's next? So let's test whether this code works. All right, so we'll go, we'll use the simulator for that. Uh, simulator, build, debug, Okay. Um, let's put a breakpoint down in the loop right here. Um, we're going to use uh, this window to see that's the arm toggle. And so let's 
let's arm it, uh, but let's simulate a break-in by having window one be okay, but window zero here shows a burglar is breaking in because it's not pressed. So we're going to run to that spot. Run. And I'm at that break point. If I step over, uh, we will see in the watch window that the arm variable shows a four, which means it's armed. And I step over the next one. Uh, the sensor variable shows a two. And the two means that's one of the windows is closed, but the other window is open. And that's bad. And so if we step again, we'll see that we step in and the LED right here will turn on. Okay? And let's test the timing of it by using the logic analyzer. So we open the logic analyzer window here, uh, set it up so that we are interested in uh, port E. Port E bit 4. And we'll make it a bit close. Uh, now we're just going to hit the go button and zoom out a little bit here. Oh, I got a break point. Move the break point and run some more. And zoom out a little bit. Go ahead and stop. We'll use the logic analyzer to do the measurement to see if the timing is right. So we click here, scroll over there, and we see that uh, in the simulation mode, the width of the pulse is approximately 100 milliseconds. All right, now we got to build it.